Only the lame Smith couldn't keep up, although he tried his best. And it's a good thing too, for otherwise we'd never know what happened. For the villagers disappeared into the dark woods. The Smith lost all track of them. Among the trees, he could not tell what direction the piping was. And soon he couldn't hear it at all for the songs of the birds and the whisper of the trees. All right. I've got the bloody letter of transit. Arthur said he'd let me know when he had the cod liver oil. Oh, I hope he sent me something on the blower. Wait. If the General's got the boat in the boathouse, if I can get it working, maybe I can get us out of here. Let's go around here. It's the bunker, of course. Sorry, that cross that cross is already there anyway, so General's Bristol pilot. My God, if I could steal a boat, but does it work? Just Rabba Zabba 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 Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you! You got the boat in the water. Well, over the water anyway. I don't leak quite as much anymore. Thing is, the motor don't turn. I mean, forget starting it. The old man's got the only key. I can't even turn it with a wrench. Rusted solid. I'd have to take it apart, but I think I'd never get it back together again. Well, it's a bit old. You know a lot it. about boats, and you're the only one fixing it up? Ma'am, I'm a joiner. If you need a door hung, I'm your man. Apparently, that makes me the general's expert on boats. My dad and I patched up a Bristol pilot when I was a girl. Is that what sort of boat it is? Did about 20 leagues, but it wasn't really white water. So we sold it for a twin diesel schooner. Of course, the Navy requisitioned that for lake patrols. We tried to patch up a Q boat during the occupation, but we couldn't find a ramjet. I'm not an expert. 
Would you happen to know how to fix the motor? Well, if it's rusted solid, um, maybe Dr. Faraday would make a new one for Dr. me. Dr. Faraday? We haven't gone to see her Dr. yet. Dr. Faraday? If the likes of me asked her, she'd probably zap me with one of her satanic devices. All right. But don't tell the General. No, ma'am. It'll be our little, our little secret. secret. Won't the General be surprised? Yes, won't he be surprised? Carry on, soldier. Miss Boyle! How lovely to see you. Yes, you have a shiny picture. Right, let's get out of here. Well, Gwen, oh, we may just make it out of here alive after all. I just need to get Dr. Faraday to make a new boat motor for me. Then I lied my ass off to Hardy. I've never been near a boat. So I'll need to find someone who can tell me how to drive one. And I guess I'll need to steal the General's key to the boat. All right. First things first. Who can tell me about boats? Hmm. Wait. Ah, oh, the air raid shelter. Arthur and I snuck in there once. And then we walked the rail tunnels all the way back to Maiden Home. I should go down there and make sure the hatch door is still open. Oh, now we can go oh, and get the into the hatch. aero shelter. <laughs> Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that? Wouldn't Arthur be pleased if he'd come up with that idea? Except, that of course, he has. That side doesn't know. Both of them think they're very clever. Right, come on. Now it's going to be unlocked. It is. Now, now, lo and behold, the corrugated iron's all been taken out from front of it. Uh, nothing here of note. Into that hatch we go. Oh. Who drinks that much whiskey? Giving, giving an awful lot of scotch. So I think what we got? Go go juice. An extra strength sanitol. Extra strength sanitol permanently increases maximum health by a moderate amount. Uh, brilliant. Pituitary fluid needs to get from doctors. Vice droid, obviously. Beefy pituitary. Go go juice. You're not invincible, but you're less invincible than normal. <laughs> Maxes out your health points and increases the user's stamina regeneration for a short time. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Does, yeah, does use Vice droid. Hmm. Let's pop everything in the box. Not much, but let's get it in there. Lavatory. A whole bunch of stuff there. Cloth scrap, empty syringe. Cloth scrap, empty syringe again. No. Okay. Okay, all well, the rest of it's back in the box. Next. Last hatch. Good. Now I can sneak. Oh, that crazy old pirate. He must know about boats. He can't be hard to find. He's always at the pub. Talk to the barmaid. There we go, all the fast travel hatches have been found and we need to head back to that one there. Except we can't fast travel from that location because for some reason all of the frickin' hatches are screwy. The road goes ever on and on. 
So the fast... The points where you're supposed to fast travel to and from don't work, but you can fast travel from pretty much anywhere else. So let's just go all the way down to that. Oh God. How about now? How about now? Can I fast travel now? Is that okay? Apparently not. Let's just get off the island. So it doesn't make any more bloody fuss, and we can go from there. It's only a kilometre, maybe we'll just run it. Down from the door where it began, and now far away the road is gone and runs for it. Okay. Get out of here. I wish I could have just got it for Arthur for old time's sake. But Gwen needs that cod liver oil. I'm not sad. To see you, Miss Boyle. Nice to see you, Miss Boyle. Don't let me throw things at you. Oh, little Gwen. Even though Mummy leaves you, I talk to you in my mind. There's so many things I want to tell you, so you don't make the same mistakes I did. Very <laughs> nice, Jenna Terrace. Masculine Kimberly Pickles, apparently. Um, At least I don't have to wear that idiotic mark. <laughs> oh, damn it. All the genders are switched for some reason. What's going on here? That's a sh. Print is on. Okay, that's. There's some very weird things going on then. Because we snazzy on, because we're going back. And joy, got some sunshine, that should work. Hello. Let's have a look at you, shall we? You're in tip-top shape, aren't you? You were so yeah, weak yes. to survive the garden. Yeah, 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 yeah. <sighs> we need to get some doctors. We need to uh, 
raid their pick their brains a little. Cream. Hello, Miss Boyle. Usual. Oh, I'm afraid I'm looking for someone. He's not here. He's he's just stepped out. Don't know when he'll be back. <laughs> Where's the pirate? Does he owe you money too? No, mm. I want to talk with him about boats. He ran out looking for Eddie. The, the meat boy. Coming. Yeah. Said he was on Wednesday's Hill. Eddie McMillan. What's he doing there? What do you get when you cross an elephant with a rhino? What? Elephino. Watch yourself out there. The old name for that hill wasn't Wednesday. That's goddamn creepy. Junk stew, tea leaves, stew, shifted chicken... Not, Not today, I'm afraid. Can you believe I blew it all on these boots? Um, I've got a lead pipe I'd like to sell you, and a pie, £24, it's a hell of an expensive pie. Um, keep the yams, thanks very much. Uh, what else have we got? Sell those power cells, don't need them. I wish this came in a different colour. Hmm. Where are we going now? All the way over there, are we? Well, we're not going to go there just yet. A quick hunt for a doctor. See you later. <laughs> oh, I don't, we can't do much for you, I'm afraid. Doctors! Where are the doctors? Doctor! Oh, maybe not around here. Oh, should be. Hmm. Well, let's go for a wander again. I feel like doctors are around and about. Back into the torn dress. I, oh, are they still out, are they? Whoops. I don't know what happened at all. Must be doctor season. Yeah, they're all on call. You should go look down there. There's, there's disaster. Oh, 
Whoa! Oh no, I was spotted. Well, there's a shock. Running. Oh, Captain Strawbeard. Captain Strawbeard. Captain Strawbeard. Where are you? Could you please come over here for a short while? I'd like to have a chat with you about boards. Also, I thought Jackson would be on recently gone. I think I just jumped over a uh, small death valley. But, uh, gap of death. Butterflies, yoink! <sighs> oh, hello. It's always dark. It's always dark, dawn. I completely agree, Cedric. You, you go over there and enjoy yourself. Right. Dead rat on his shoulder. A stuffed dead rat on his shoulder is Captain Strawbread. Dear God. Right. <laughs> hmm. They've taken him. Poor, poor Eddie. Who's taken Eddie? The cultists. Up on the hill. The yam people. It's no. not yams they worship. They... It's too horrible. You have to stop them. They're gonna kill him. I wish I could do it. I'm too scared. Oh, God. I just... My legs have got all watery. I'm a coward, Miss Boyle. A coward. I'll do my best. Don't go anywhere. Save him, Miss Boyle. Please. Okay, we need any damn mushrooms. Help me, they're gonna cook up my heart and eat it! Oh. No, please! No, don't kill me! My god. They're gonna cut his heart out. And replace it with a yam! I don't think I want to fight all these vegetable worshippers. Yes, you do! I wonder if there's a way I could drug them. Oh, for oh. God's sake. Look. They're drinking out of a Yes, chest. let's drug them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear the words of the old no, one. Please, no, names don't are kill. Craft for knockout juice optional. Oh dear. Mm, fine. Knockout juice. I could just let him die. Right. Sleep tight atomizer. Atomizer. This next atomizer. Knockout juice. I don't have enough, actually. Secret and may not be said. Whispered in the shadow of the new moon. When I wear my cloak of shadow, ye shall assemble Save in me. some Save secret me. place Please. and adore me. And I will teach you things. Get off the bloody hell, are you? Oh, shit. Get out. Uh, you know, get out. Help me, I'm going to cook up my and eat it. They're not coming back. Oh, they're never coming back. I need my heart, please.
chiefs give you sustenance like the mother of all things. With I the blood of the please. sacrifice shall ye Help. call to me, and with the blood ye shall nourish my roots. I am who I am. No, please, no, don't On kill me! On my skin are written all the secrets for those who know how to read them. In my flesh is sweetness and softness. I know Save your me. past Save me. and Please. your future's unwritten. I am who I am. He is what he is. Where are the yams? Alf Thomas. No. Carrot. Give me the yams. I don't care about saving you in the slightest. Just give me some yams. Is it the butcher's boy again? Is it? Oh, for goodness sake. Untied and why use for book, apparently. Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! They promised me sweets if I came along with them. But there weren't any, and they tied me up. His Must leg's broken again. I know. But I can trust you, can't I? You're good. And Arthur, he's good too. Percy always said so. Yeah. Arthur's bloody brilliant. Look, you wait here. I'll send someone to get you home. So that's different as well. We didn't even have this Captain Strawbeard, he was just the butcher's boy previously. Right, where's the way? Screw it! There we go. Captain Strawbeard! You saved him! I wish I had! I love that lad! He's one of the best people I know! Yeah! He'll need you to carry him home. Listen, Captain. I need to fix up a Bristol pilot. The, uh, a General's. Oh, that's a beauty. I love that boat. I Green love lines, that boat. I love that beautiful lad. woodwork. I was just reading about it. Could I... Could I borrow your book? Oh, sure. Here we go. Least I can do. After I didn't save any. No, you didn't. It. You'll need it more than I do. Considering that's a mask. Tell you the truth, I haven't been in a boat in 15 years. Say, you wouldn't happen to have a sovereign for a yes, thirsty pirate, Yes, I've got pirate, thousands of them. I feel smarter about boats already. already. Poor, When is Arthur already. getting that cod liver oil? I wanted to say Maybe he's it. got it. Maybe he's already sent a note on the blower. I'm so close to our playground. Maybe I should just see if he's there. And see how things are going. Oh, damn spots. Off oh, in the garden district. Well, got 12 points. Let's use them on. Uh, Hey, you know what? Let's just buy the lower ones. Iron stomach. We aren't going to need it, but buy the lower ones. So we need 18 more points. And then everything will be fine. Just fine. And I'm sure off is like... I don't actually I'm, like long walks. I'm willing to bet this is where we say goodbye to Arthur. As Sally. Should we get that damn slow down again when we go out of the same area? <gasps> again, so you scream for no damn reason at all. Where does the fog come from? Where does the fog come from? No one really knows. Female heart. Female. 
There we go, Daddy. I love the blood on my hands. Stop crying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have any records on me, apparently. I'm pretty certain I did, but never mind. I don't think he's been working much anymore in this game. I've searched. Take up. Let's go and disappoint Arthur. God. Hello, Arthur. Oh, he does have the cold liver roll, doesn't he? Hey, you're still in town. I got it. Your precious cod liver oil. Lifesaver. Have you got my letter of transit then? Arthur, we're practically the only two people in this entire city not stoned out of our minds on joy. You look... rough. What do you care? How are you going to get out? Why won't you just give me the fucking letter of transit? Oh, it's always what you want, always what you need, every little Sally whim. Bloody cod liver oil. Am I really that awful? Well, just because you seduced my dad? In my mum's bed while you were staying in our house? How was I supposed to tell him no? I didn't have anywhere else to go. Um. Sorry. That's different. Here. Let's go together. The two musketeers. I'm scared, Arthur. Aren't you? <sighs> it's going crazy out there. We have to go now. Wait, wait. I have to go back to my place first. Why? And we sort of have to wait till dawn. Oh, God, no. There's something I have to tell you. No, th th that's crazy. I, I can't. Oh, you shouldn't have asked for that ridiculous cod liver oil. I've got a baby. <sighs> Not what Arthur heard. It's just self-preservation, Sally. No hard feelings. It's not Arthur. what Arthur heard. No. Arthur. Did he even hear me? Of course he heard you. He just didn't care. But at least he brought the cod liver oil. At least that. I've got to get it to Gwen as fast as I can. Jamal. Oh, such a kind offer. The kind, dear, sweet old Jen would like nothing better than to take care of me while the world burns. I'm sure he wouldn't want anything in return. He wants to get Gwen out without me. Such a rubbish mum, she'd probably be better off, wouldn't she? If I were a really good mum, I'd make the sacrifice. I can't give you up, Gwen. I'm sorry, I just can't. Oh, God, I remember the babies after the war. Before everyone got on joy and we stopped having them, they upset everyone so. I always wondered where they went after. No one talked about it. Usually the mums went with. Sometimes the baby was just suddenly gone. Sometimes they found the baby and the mum later. I don't want to play house with the general. I want to vomit. Wait, the boat. There's a boat. He has a boat. I could steal it, fix it up first, and then steal it. Now I can go and see Arthur again, give him the letter of transit, and then we'll have the Cod Liver Oil, and we can take the boat off this cursed archipelago. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Did he even hear me? Of course he heard me. He just didn't care. What am I going to do? Every, everything I have to, I guess. At least he brought me the oil, at least that. Yeah, but he didn't hear that. That's not what was on. That's not what he heard. Stupid memories, stupid joy. Ah. 